For more than 60 years, the Herbruck family has been supplying farm fresh eggs to retailers and food service outlets. Herbruck's Poultry Ranch was founded by Harry and Marilyn Herbruck in 1958, and its roots stretch back to the late 1920s when Harry Herbruck Sr. began an egg delivery company. Today, Herbruck's Poultry Ranch is operated by three of Harry Jr.'s sons, Stephen, Greg, and Harry, with their mother, brother Terry, and sister Melanie as fellow shareholders. Five members of the fourth generation also work in the business, where the company's flock has grown from 6,000 laying hens in the 1950s to 9 million today. Hello, I'm Greg Herbrook. I'm the president of Herbrook's Poultry Ranch. Uh, I have my siblings, Stephen, Terry, Melanie, and my younger brother, Harry the Third, or Herb as he's called, um, all are involved in the business. At this farm, we have uh, you don't know it, but up on top of the hill here is two and a half million hens and, and the, one of the bases of our operation where we have laying hens, a feed mill, and egg processing all in one site, inline egg processing that's called, and we also have inline feeding. We have other sites, one called Green Meadow, it's a certified organic farm of roughly two million hens. We have another dedicated farm for the Cargill McDonald's supply chain that has almost three million hens on it. And then we have some remote operations in northern Indiana where we're contracting with mostly Amish families to produce eggs cage-free for specialty. Some of it's cage-free, some of it's the nutrition of the involvement. So those are, there's almost two million hens in that operation. And so in total, we're roughly, uh, when we're done with our current expansion projects, we'll be at nine million hens. Even though the business is now owned and operated by the third generation, the founding principles are still the same. We've done nothing but been blessed with the opportunity and success and uh, really attributed to a stewardship of our, uh, and our family values. Um, we think of the environment, our neighbors, our, the bird, and our customers. The Herbrucks are committed to good stewardship of the land, air, water, and other natural resources, and this commitment has allowed them to be recognized as one of U.S. Poultry's 2018 Family Farm Environmental Excellence Award winners. There are a number of innovations the Herbrucks have implemented on the farm. One is their manure handling system. They have developed a technology that processes hen litter into organic fertilizer on site. This process drastically reduces odors and provides a nutrient-rich organic fertilizer for local farmers. This is the manure storage facility at the Green Meadow Organic Site. This is where we take dry poultry fertilizer from out of our chicken houses and run it through a process that converts it into pellets. The pellets take up much less space than the dry poultry fertilizer, allows us to maximize our facility for storage. In addition, the fertilizer is stable and easily stored, which makes it a much more saleable product for us. So the pelleted fertilizer is in a form that can be applied to a farmer's fields with traditional fertilizer spreading equipment. And so it's in a form that's much more usable to them versus if we send it to them uh, without being pelletized. It's a good source of nutrients for their crops. In their cage-free houses, litter management is a big concern. Hot water radiant heat tubing has been installed in the concrete floors of their cage-free houses to help dry the litter and keep the houses warm during the cold Michigan winters. My name is Dan Fields. I'm the compliance director at Herbrux, and we're standing in a new chicken house under construction. In particular, we're here to look at the in-floor heat system that we integrate into the, into the living system for the birds. Uh, this helps with their health in terms of keeping their feet healthy, uh, as well as a nice warm environment in the wintertime and the additional benefit we receive is it helps to dry the manure uh, on the floor so that we can remove it um, in a state where we can process it into pellets. So we have a hot water system under the floor. Uh, it's in plastic tubing and uh, to my left behind me are some manifolds and we have uh, supply manifold, supply water and return water and it goes back to a natural gas fired boiler where um, we just keep a constant heat in the floor uh, to accomplish that purpose of drying the manure, giving the chickens a good place to live. On the farm, water is used for cleaning eggs and sanitizing equipment. All of the egg washing and equipment cleaning wastewater is processed through Herbrock's wastewater treatment plant, minimizing their overall wastewater environmental impact. 
We're at the Henry site, which is an egg laying and processing facility. One of the things that is generated through processing eggs is egg washing wastewater. We also generate egg washing wastewater at the main farm and the Green Meadow Organic site. For years, we just tankered the egg washing wastewater off of those locations to a municipal treatment system. About three and a half years ago, Herb Rucks donated, um, funded and donated a force main pipeline and a lift station to the authority so that we could just, instead of tanker loads of wastewater to them, we could just direct discharge through pumps to that system for treatment. Uh, over the prece preceding three or four years since then, um, it became, became apparent to us and to the authority that more treatment needed to be applied to the wastewater before it was discharged to the authority's wastewater system. So Herb Rucks constructed a small wastewater treatment system at the Henry at this location and where we do some treatment to the wastewater. We remove solids through a process called dissolved air, air flotation and then we uh, have a small biological system that does additional treatment to help us meet the limits that we have in a discharge permit with the wastewater authority where we discharge. The Herbrocks strive to be a good neighbor in their community. They've installed vegetative buffers around the property to beautify the area and to help reduce dust and odor. To further reduce odor and dust from leaving their facilities, the Herbrocks designed and installed outdoor plenums on the exhaust fans that allow air flowing out of the ventilation fans to slow and drop out dust and feathers in a confined area. This is the chicory. It's one of the sites where we raise baby chicks up from the day after they hatch until they're ready to move into the layer barn. One of the challenges in the operation of the chicory is that there are a lot of feathers that are generated as the chicks grow. We have added these screen houses on the outside of the houses to capture both dust and feathers as they uh, leave the house through the ventilation system. You can see they're very effective at capturing the feathers, but what little amount of feathers escape those screen houses is cleaned up weekly by the crews that work at the chicory. Herbrook's Poultry Ranch has further supported their community by donating equipment to their local fire department and installing multiple 500,000 gallon water tanks at some of their main facilities. The donated equipment and water stored in the tanks support the fire department in their efforts to respond to emergencies and fight fires throughout the community. This is one of two 500,000 gallon water tanks that Herbrux constructed at our facilities. We've made them available to local fire departments along with the hydrant loops to supply water for fighting fires in other areas in the community. We plan to construct a third tank in the future. Each year, the family hosts a breakfast for local farmers and neighbors. This event allows them to connect with their community and to discuss any concerns or answer questions others might have about the farm. One of the things that's important to our family is connection to the community. One of the things we do is, as part of that is we sponsor a breakfast every spring so we connect with mostly our corn growers but all our neighbors and local uh, officials to just get together and talk about what's going on and, and connect. The family also hosts an organic seminar each March. The topics change based on areas of interest. A farmer panel is included during the event that allows the farming community to ask questions and obtain realistic perspectives from organic growers. The Herbrucks understand they are stewards of their birds and stewards of the land. They take extra steps to care for the resources they have and strive to be good neighbors in their community. This message was brought to you by the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Funding for this video was provided by the International Poultry Expo. Please support our exhibitors and we invite you to attend.